Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. I've been asked to do a video showing that Zello is working with the interface board using a Raspberry Pi. So this video is going to show you that. I'm going to talk about the hardware part of it first for those of you who are new to this video and or are new to my channel. What I have here is a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus that's only running one gig of RAM. I'm running Windows 10 ARM version on this Raspberry Pi. I have a CAD 5 plugged in for internet that is required. Obviously if you're going to use Zello you're going to need internet. Now you the built-in Wi-Fi will not work because Windows 10 does not detect it. Now if you uh, if you try to buy a USB Wi-Fi card that will also not work unless the manufacturer offers a Windows 10 ARM driver for it. If you find one that works, please let me know. So you have to use a CAD5 cable that I have plugged in here. Now you're probably wondering, well I have a hotspot, how is that going to work? Some hotspots do have a CAD5 uh, CAD connector on them, so you can plug it in this way. So now, um, let's talk about, you're going to need a USB uh, sound card plugged in the Raspberry Pi. The built-in sound card on the Raspberry Pi will not work when running Windows 10 ARM version. So you need a USB sound card for the interface board. And the good news is, believe it or not, Windows 10 does detect the USB uh, sound card with no problems. No additional drivers are needed. Uh, believe it or not. Now, the USB DB9 adapter is a special adapter, so pay attention. This adapter has to have the FTDI chipset in it. So, when you go to buy one, if it does not say in the title or in the description FTDI cable, then do not buy it. It will not work with a Raspberry Pi. So you got to have that. Obviously, I have that plugged in the interface board. I have the interface board plugged in through the Redivis RT97S uh, GMRS 2A radio repeater that is also hooked up to a dummy load, which you cannot see. It's off camera. I have my iPad here because I'm going to show you how it works and all that good stuff. So that is what you're going to need. Now, for this video, I do have an HDMI cable hooked up for video. I do have a USB um, mouse hooked up and a USB keyboard. Once you get your Raspberry Pi set up, you do not need those items hooked up. You can unplug the HDMI cable and leave it unhooked. You can leave your USB keyboard unhooked along with your USB mouse. Because once you get this set up, uh, it will boot right into Zello and it will log in all by itself if you choose it to do that. I will kind of explain that in a minute here. Um, so, uh, so I just want to point that out. So now let's go ahead and go to the Zello or the Raspberry Pi screen here. Again, I'm running uh, Windows 10 ARM version. As you can see, I have Zello in gateway mode. I also called up the CPU um, screen here so you can see the usage of what it takes to run Zello. It does not take much, which is good news. Um, let's show you first the settings that are required for the interface board to work with Zello. I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to go to options. Now, first thing we got to go to, we got to go to the audio. Now, you got to make sure you have selected your USB sound card. Do not select the Raspberry Pi audio. Uh, it will not work. And that, Like I said, that's because Windows does not detect the built-in sound card. So you got to use the USB sound card that you plugged in. Uh, also, um, have it be on 50. To, this is a good starting point. You can adjust accordingly. 50 for here, 34 for here. Do not check this. Leave this at zero, zero, no check boxes here. Okay. Now for the radio, you got to uh, select COM port. Make sure you select the COM port number that your cable comes up when you plug it in. 
Um, it's best to plug in the cable and the USB sound card before you boot up your Raspberry Pi. I'm hoping it will keep the same COM port number, but if it don't, you can change it. Um, it you know, change it here. Now for this RTS it has to be high, and then for the RX, it's got to be of course the COM port. Your cable comes up under. The DSR has to be high. So there's the settings there. Now, I want to also make mention here. You can only run if you're going to use programs that are going to use the COM port. You can only run one at a time. And the reason being is I cannot find a COM port sharing software that will work with Windows 10 ARM version. If you find one, please let me know. So I can either run Zello or date and time and repeater ID along with weather uh, if I choose the weather option. So in this case, obviously I'm doing Zello, so that's what I have to run. Now I can run other programs in the background as long as they don't need the COM port. Like I could run any desk uh, remote software in the background. I don't have that running, I don't think. Let me look. No, I don't. So this is without that running. Now, Zello, you can't see it now because I'm already logged in, but Zello does have a, on their main screen when you go and enter your password, there is a option to start with Windows and automatically log in. I suggest you check those so that if the Raspberry Pi has to, or let's say that the power goes out at your repeater location and it comes back on, the Raspberry Pi will automatically boot up and start Zello and log right in for you. You don't even have to do anything. So I, I would highly recommend checking that. Now, um, obviously I have Zello in gateway mode. To figure out how to do that, go to my forum and go to the interface board category. The um, first time setup thread has pictures, words, and links to videos and how to put your Zello in the gateway mode. It's real simple, real easy to do. Um, and also too, uh, like I said, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna have the CPU on the screen here so you can see the usage. Now, obviously, this my you no know, test Zello channel is not real busy. Now, I'm gonna suspect that I'm running pretty low usage here, even when I do key it up. So even with the busy Zello channel, it should keep up. Um, again, a Raspberry Four with more memory would definitely help. I don't have one of those here. Maybe I'll get one in the future. And if I do get one, I will make an image file for this. And if I haven't mentioned all the information I'm talking about, the image file, all that is on my forum under the Raspberry Pi category. You can go there and download the image file. I did a video on what's all on the image. I'll post that link in the description below. So let's see, how can I do this to show you? So what we're gonna do here, uh, let's try something here. Let's try something here. Oh, look at that. Dave's looking up. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to, let's start with a handheld first. I'm going to move the tablet over here. I'm wearing a headset that has a microphone to make this video. I'm going to take the headset off. And I'm going to put it, the microphone by the iPad so you can kind of hear it. Now, keep in mind, I'm way too close. You might hear some feedback. That's normal because... Obviously, I'm way too close here, but I just want to show you. And when I do this, you will see the Zello key up on the screen, and you will see the uh, CPU usage and how much it uses, um, so you'll be able to see that. So let's start with the handheld. Let me grab. I'm using a Redivis RT85 handheld, if you wanted to know. And let's take my headset off here. Radio check. Radio check. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so hopefully you heard that. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the iPad. Okay, now I'm going to take the radio. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to turn the volume up. I can't go too high, so hopefully this will work. Turn the volume I'll put the headset by the radio. I'll key up the iPad. Again, you'll see a key up on the Zello screen, and you can kind of see the usage that it does take. So let's go ahead and do this. Radio check. Radio check. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there you go. And I think what I'm going to do, since you've heard it now, that it does work, and it responds quite fast, I'm going to, let's do this. Let's make the screen, I want to kind of show you the CPU usage. Let's make the screen bigger so you can see this better. Okay, now let's let things settle down here. I'm going to key up the radio first. I'm going to talk, and I'm going to ramble in the radio, and I want to... Um, have you watched the CPU usage here? I'm kind of letting it kind of stabilize right now so that you can kind of see this. So let's let it stabilize here for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and key this up. And you can kind of, like I said, watch the usage here. Radio check, radio check. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. I don't know if you can hear me coming over the iPad. But if you do hear it, that's the reason why the iPad is uh, on in the background here. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there you go. You can kind of see the usage there. Not bad at all. Not bad. Now, even if my Zello channel is really busy, I think it would keep up all right. Again, obviously, if you have a Raspberry 4 and more RAM, that's always a good thing to do. But you get the idea here. I'm going to key up the iPad over the radio, I'm going to move the radio off the screen here. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't squeal too bad. Let's see what the CPU uses dodge, uh, does when I do that. Radio check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Radio check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to unkey it. Let's see. Let's let things stabilize here. Let's see what it does. And it looks like it's, yeah, it's it's not bad at all. It does not take very much at all. i do it again here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Looks like it goes up to about from 10 to about 20% CPU-ish, uh, give or take. So, yeah, it's it just it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It works really well. Um, so there you have it. I hope this answers some questions. If you have any uh, questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you, and have a good day.